Invicta. They certainly had a reputation within the watch collecting community. I'm here to tell you why they may be worth a second look. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Watch Closet. I'm COE33, CO for short, and guys, I think it's safe to say that I'm cuckoo for watches. If you enjoy watch collecting content as much as I do, help me grow this channel and appease those algorithm overlords by subscribing and ever so gently polishing that like button. Before we get into today's discussion, let's do a wristwatch check. I'm wearing the Vostok Kamandursky Tank Commander. Very cool watch I just picked up on the channel recently and did an unboxing of. It's got the titanium coating, the black resin strap, hand wind mechanical movement. Gotta love it. Invicta, they get a lot of grief. And some of it, honestly, I think they deserve, because they are responsible for watches like this, and even this, and I don't even know what the fuck's going on here. They have some questionable marketing practices, overinflated retail prices that really only serve to lure customers in with discounts too good to be true. 90% off is not an uncommon sight online when you're shopping for Invictus. But here's the thing, if you can get past all that bullshit, an incredible value proposition unveils itself, and a surprisingly diverse lineup of watches from tried and true homages, to unique original designs, and some huge monstrosities that I wouldn't personally wear, but that doesn't mean that they don't have a place. In fact, a lot of people love the honking, overstyled watches in the Invicta lineup, and the proof is in the sales. I don't know if you've ever sat down and watched a live Shop HQ Invicta segment, but these watches move in quantities I imagine a lot of manufacturers would be very envious of. We've sold 1,500. We have the final two dozen in the gold tone forever. 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 And reading through Amazon reviews, you frequently come across comments like this, and there's plenty more just like it. So what does Invicta have to offer the watch collector that prefers to measure their watches in millimeters and not inches, and weigh them in grams and not pounds. Well, to start, the brand Invicta has been around since 1837 and has some seriously cool vintage offerings. Now, the current company is radically different ever since the buyout took place in the 90s, but they still have some really cool watches, if you do a little digging. And dig, I have. I actually own five Invicta watches in my personal collection to share with you today, so let's do it. All right, here we are, my personal Invicta collection. And as you guys can see, I like Invicta. Now, I think they have a lot of problems, as I discussed before, but if you look at what they offer, they have some really interesting watches that you get a lot of watch for the money. I think that's where they really shine as a brand, as a company. It's what you get for the price point. So let's start with this right here. Now, they're known for their homages. Of course, this is Submariner homage. But guys, this is a automatic titanium watch right? Really lightweight, super well made, nice clicky bezel that feels great, very little back play. I mean, look, feel, listen to that. It's awesome. And it's really well done. It's got nice knurling on the signed crown. It's got the automatic movement with the decorated rotor. It's got the stamped clasp and just a, a great watch. I paid $98 for this watch. $98. For an automatic Submariner homage. Now, this is, I don't like this necessarily. And Victor, they always tend to, they just got to go one step too far sometimes with their styling. And I think that could have been left off. That's kind of tacky. But it's pretty minor gripe, really, for what you're getting for the price. This is one of my favorite grab-and-go watches. It wears great. looks good. I like the titanium. I love titanium in watches. So that's a good example of where Invicta really shines. But it's not just the homages where Invicta shines, they have their original lines of watches as well. So they've got the Objet d'Or line of watches, or if you want to be sophisticated, the Objet d'Art, <laughs> however you want to say it. I think it's Objet d'Art. And this is their Ghost Bridge movement. So it's a hand wind mechanical movement. It's not too big. It's got nice square dimensions, nice, you know, the lug to lug is pretty compact. So I really like that. It looks good on my wrist. It's got the blued hands, and it's really well made. It's got nice polishing. It's got the signed crown. Just another great example of why 
Invicta, I think, is worth a second look if you've written them off in the past. This is automatic movement. It's one of their skeleton dials. And then it's got the guilloche around the outer rim there. It's got applied indices. And the movement looks really good. It's got a nice display case back with some engraving there. Another genuine leather strap. You got the Invicta logo right there on the buckle. Not too big, not too small, just right. Another really nice watch from Invicta. And then they have some of their larger offerings too that you guys have probably seen stuff like this. Now this isn't as big as some of them are just massive behemoths of watches. This one is pretty large. This is about as large as I go for watches. But I thought it was unique. It's got that green flame fusion crystal. It's a pilot's watch. It's got a lot going on there. It's got the little plane on the second hand. It's got the applied indices. It's got good loom and nice engraved case back. This is from their aviator line of watches with their trite night loom. And um, just a really cool piece. It's unique. This is, you know, this is an original Invicta design. This is them being a unique watch manufacturer. And, uh, you know, this isn't for everybody. This may be a little overstyled for some people, but I really enjoy this watch. Really good construction, heavy duty, very nice. And then my most kind of Invicta, Invicta watch that I have, if that's a term, is this one. I don't know why I got this. This one's too big for my wrist, to be honest, and mostly because of the lug to lug. So when I bought it, I didn't realize the lug to lug on it was so massive. But I thought the skeleton dial with the skull was really cool. I thought, wow, that's what an intricate design there. It's an automatic movement. This is from their Speedway collection. And again, you got signed crown. You got display case back with the decorated rotor. You got a really nice bracelet. Butterfly clasp, which I really like the butterfly clasps quite a bit. And just a, a cool, unique piece. If this had a shorter lug to lug size, I would probably wear this a lot more. But as it sits now, this one is a little too honking for me. It's also pretty thick as well. But that said, great homages, original designs, good price point, all reasons that I feel like Invicta deserves a second look and it's worth going through their catalog and seeing what they have to offer. All right, guys, that's my take on Invicta watches. What do you guys think? Love them? Hate them? Somewhere in the middle? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm posting new videos every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can count on that. It's like clockwork. Follow me with my watch collecting adventures on Instagram, at Cuckoo for Watches. I'm live streaming on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. Follow me over there for wrist checks and retro gaming, at COE33. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep your watches wound and your sapphires polished. Mm -hmm.